In this video, you will see Kelly and Maria try to evaluate the limit as x goes to zero of x times the natural log of x. As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. X. Natural log of x. So let's say we just plug in zero. We would get zero times natural log of zero and we know zero times anything is just zero, so. Yeah, but the natural log of zero is undefined. Hmm. So do you think that would affect it? Because yes. you're still just multiplying by zero. Isn't zero times anything just zero, so it would kind of cancel out the fact that it's undefined? Yeah, but you're like multiplying something that you know by something that you don't know. Like we don't know what the natural log of zero is because hmm. it's undefined. Um, okay. Um, well, what if the way I think about natural log is e to something is going to give you zero in this case. Okay. So e to something would give you whatever is in the natural log. So e to what would give us zero? Something really negative, right? Right. So you'd have to have something negative. Uh, because then you'd get 1 over e to the negative. Well, I guess it wouldn't be negative anymore because it's 1 over that thing, right? Right. So 1 over e to something. And if e is, or if the denominator is big enough, you'd get almost 0, right? Because you get 1 over something really yeah. big. So it's kind of almost 0. So you're saying we're taking like the limit of something small, which is zero, and then the limit of something big, because we know that this is some really large negative yeah. number. Yeah, I feel like the limit of natural log of x is definitely something really big. And you're saying the limit of just x is small? Yeah, as oh. x approaches zero. Because it would just be zero. Right. Okay. So then the limit, the natural log of x as it approaches zero would be really big. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know how these like balance out. Well, I guess it depends on how small the small is and how big the big is. Because whichever one is more extreme will probably pull the other in that direction. Yeah, how do we figure that out though? Like... I'm not sure. In this video, Kelly and Maria tried to compute a limit and noticed that it could either be very small or very large, but they weren't able to determine which it would be. We'll explore how to think about this problem in upcoming videos.